Hi, it's Espen. The result of the study was that for the deliveries in Brussels, the e-bullet delivered twice as many parcels as a van would have in the same amount of time. Uh, I mean, the issue at the moment is that uh, the core of cities traffic is uh, is in a very bad and probably increasingly worse situation. I'd say it's a, it's a problem of geometry. You just can't have that many cars in narrow streets. What we're seeing all across the world is a large influx of people moving inside of uh, cities, uh, large uh, urbanization levels. And what that causes is a strain on transportation and mobility systems. And it's already um, it's already taking a lot of time for people to get from point A to B, and this will only become more challenging in, in, uh, in the future. We started Your Bike five years ago, uh, thanks to um, R&D project on uh, urban mobility. We wanted to prove that cycle logistics was uh, more efficient than vans uh, to deliver goods in Brussels. We proved that it was feasible, that it was efficient, and then the company has started to grow uh, from that point. The main project of Urbike is to increase quality of life in urban environments by replacing vans and trucks when it comes to uh, deliveries of goods. Uh, so it is clear that the benefits being for the people living in that city, it makes sense for them to be interested in being part of the project. So th there's a, definitely some bilateral interest in, in that respect. So we, we decided to do this study because there's still very little um, scientific evidence for um, how performant cargo bikes can be in urban logistics. A lot of the decisions that are being made today are still based on uh, assumptions and misconceptions and having data and studies that prove the, the benefits and the potential of, of cargo bikes, it can accelerate the transition basically to much more sustainable and much more efficient way of moving things around cities. So there's a growing number of studies today, but the numbers that they are based on are very much high level statistics and many of them are not necessarily based on, on data, they're mostly assumptions. So high level statistics like average speed only gives you so much information. What you really want to understand is in exactly what areas and what types of areas and at like what times do different vehicles perform in different ways. Uh, we know that vans are heavily impacted by congestion and traffic and also uh, parking and that's where the hypothesis is that cargo bikes are more performant because they're less affected by traffic and congestion and they will be able to park straight at the door and the goal of the study is to verify that empirically by actually uh, installing GPS trackers on Urpike's e-bullets to verify how they actually move and quantify it and, and analyze it. We analyzed the cargo bike performance in terms of the specific micro region they're in. So whether it's a very dense uh, city center, a commercial area, a residential area, suburbs, and that allows us to understand like what types of areas and cities cargo bikes can be beneficial in. Our analysis consisted of taking all the real-time GPS data from the nine bikes uh, breaking it down into these uh, hexagonal micro regions of each city. We combine that with the deli delivery information from the dispatch software and uh, publicly available city data from OpenStreetMaps. And we combine all these things to uh, describe how the bike performed in each tiny region. And each region was categorized as either dense uh, city center, a wider urban area, or um, the suburban areas. Um, and in each region, we measured the speed of the bike and how long it took to service stops in that region. So using the typical speeds and service times for a city like Brussels for vans, we could then replace the numbers in each micro region to identify how long it would have taken a van to complete the, those stops. So the way that we are comparing 
the data we collected to how a van would have performed is by using a, a model for van deliveries based on the average statistics for uh, delivery vans in Brussels, which we then use to compare how a van would have performed if it were to carry out the same deliveries in Brussels. The result of the study was that for the deliveries in Brussels, the e-bullet delivered twice as many parcels as a van would have in the same amount of time. Uh, it was 10 times cheaper in, in operational costs and was 97% cleaner. In addition, in terms of uh, traveling speed, we see that cargo bikes can travel uh, with an average speed of 16 kilometers per hour versus 11.3 for vans, which represents an increase in speed of 45% for cargo bikes. Moreover, based on our analysis of the microregions, we can see that cargo bikes are less affected by the urban context as opposed to vans um, whose speed decreases based on the density of the region that they're traveling in.